This is your KCTV 5 News Update. These killed my boy, my favorite homeboy, the only one I got. This got to stop. Tensions flare in Kansas City after another fatal shooting pushes our city closer to its deadliest year on record. This latest killing is at East 49th and Paseo, and it marks the 131st homicide of 2020. That's 30 more than this same time last year and 22 deaths away from the all time high set in 1993 when the crack epidemic was happening in Kansas City. Many businesses are still struggling to survive as our knowledge of the COVID-19 pandemic changes. Tomorrow, Wyandotte County is inviting local workers and business owners to a virtual town hall to discuss its plans to handle workforce place outbreaks. They'll hold a discussion with two local business owners who overcame the outbreaks at their stores. It's Tuesday from 9 to 1030 in the morning. While unemployment holds steady amid the pandemic, dozens of companies want to help out of work veterans find gainful employment. DAV and Recruit Military are hosting a national virtual career fair this Tuesday from 11 to 3. It's open to all military members, past and present, as well as spouses and dependents. Find a link to register under Founded on 5 on our website. And a noisy start to begin our Monday morning. I'm going to continue to keep a close eye on the radar this morning, tracking a 60% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms as we're moving through your morning routine and the potential that some of these could have some damaging winds, some small hail, certainly impactful to that morning routine. We'll hold on to temperatures right around 79 degrees with an isolated storm expected through this afternoon. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.